Can we please fast forward through this pesky sporting tournament to get to the advertisements? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Super Bowl commercials of 2020. Reese's Take 5 Bar, chocolate, peanuts, caramel, peanut butter, pretzels. Never heard of it. Where have you been, under a rock? For this list, we're taking a look at commercials that kicked it out of the park during Super Bowl 54. However, we're excluding movie trailers as well as political ads. Whoa! Is this the future? This is the present future, Bill. Number 10. As good as the original, Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It's hard to top Jack Nicholson as Jack Torrance in The Shining, but who better than Brian Cranston to fill his shoes? I've got new Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, with the same refreshing taste as the original. With an axe in one hand and a Mountain Dew Zero Sugar bottle in the other, Crazy Cranston limps through the Overlook Hotel. He approaches the bathroom door, which has Mountain Dew spelled backwards instead of Red Rum. Shopping through, he offers the bottle to Tracy Ellis Ross, insisting that it's as good as the original. Defending herself with a shower brush rather than a knife, a hysterical Ross abruptly calms down, realizing she could use a drink. Here's Mountain Dew Zero! I am thirsty. The best visual gags are saved for last, as a tidal wave of dew surges out of an elevator and Cranston turns into the Grady Twins. Number 9. The Cool Ranch, featuring Lil Nas X and Sam Elliott. Doritos. Whenever we think of an old Western gunfighter, actor Sam Elliott is usually the first person who comes to mind. Make your move, cowboy. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. In the late 2010s, Lil Nas X has put a fresh spin on the cowboy archetype with his unique blend of country rap. Tradition meets the new age in The Cool Ranch, a brilliant pun for a Doritos commercial. The ad starts off in typical spaghetti western fashion, as Elliot and Nas face off in a town square with a classic Ennio Morricone score playing. In an unexpected turn, the duel evolves into a dance battle. While Elliot has some surprisingly good moves, he ultimately tips his hat to Nas, who victoriously rides off with his chips. Billy Ray Cyrus's line dancing days are over, though. Number 8. Rick and Morty and Pringles Pringles. We're still waiting for the second half of Rick and Morty Season 4, but this meta ad more than satisfied our appetite. Hey, you guys want to stack different Pringles flavors to create new flavor combos? Here, I'll, I'll go first. Pizza, barbecue, and jalapeno. As Rick and Summer watch a Pringles commercial on television, Morty enters with several different Pringles containers. Rick can tell that something's amiss because nobody is this excited about chip stacking in real life. Stack Pringles, make endless new flavors! Stack and Pringles to make new flavors! Rick quickly unmasks the imposter Morty, confirming that they're trapped in a Pringles commercial. There's seemingly no escape as an army of Morty robots enters, promoting more stacking combos. The ad was part of a tie-in for special edition Pickle Rick flavored Pringles. Now, if only we could stack Pickle Rick Pringles with Szechuan sauce and eye holes flavors, you know what, on second thought, that probably wouldn't be a very tasty combo. Number 7. Best thing since sliced bread. Little Caesars. Rain Wilson goes from one office job selling paper to selling sliced bread, which has some stiff competition now that Little Caesars delivers. New ideas, go. Travel sized bread. Sparkle bread. Bread insurance. Magnetic bread. What? The best thing since sliced bread is an idiom that gets tossed around a lot, but this pizza chain's first Super Bowl ad takes it quite literally. The artist formerly known as Dwight Schrute does everything in his power to keep sliced bread on top, but even his own employees are turning to Little Caesars come lunchtime. Don't cry. <laughs> not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening! Just as the Roman Republic fell following the assassination of Julius Caesar, the sliced bread empire is ultimately taken down by Little Caesars. Defeated, Wilson figures that if you can't beat him, join him. Hopefully, he didn't put any beats on the pizzas. Little Caesars delivery. Best thing since sli sliced bread. I know. Number six, comfortable, Rocket Mortgage. You'll never look at Jason Momoa the same way again after watching this Rocket Mortgage ad which is equal parts funny and disturbing. Things start off routinely enough as Momoa pulls up to his mansion, addressing the audience. It's the one place, oh, I can let my guard down. Heading into his sanctuary, he makes himself comfortable by taking off his shoes, but he doesn't stop there. The Aquaman actor then removes his brawny biceps and muscular abs, becoming scrawnier than pre-Captain America Steve Rogers. And that feels pretty darn good. Oh. <sighs> 
most shocking of all, Momoa strips off his luxurious hair to reveal a balding head. The fact that Momoa does all of this with a casual smile on his face just makes the commercial more surreal. Every superhero has a second life, and we guess the same applies to action stars. Oh, and the ad is for something about mortgages, obviously. Number 5. Tom Brady's Big Announcement Hulu Tom Brady has led the Patriots to six Super Bowl victories, but all good things must come to an end. This black and white commercial begins on a solemn note as the celebrated quarterback enters an empty stadium. Talking about quitting while he's ahead, it is strongly implied that the football legend is about to announce his retirement. As the screen fades to black, all the New Englanders watching at home take a collective deep breath and prepare for the worst. You deserve to hear this from me. Hulu doesn't just have live sports. Then, in a brilliant fakeout, Brady reveals that we've been watching a Hulu ad, and he's been talking about quitting cable for streaming. With me? I'm not going anywhere. Just to clear up any confusion, Brady guarantees us he's not retiring anytime soon. Don't scare us like that again, Tom. Number 4. Smart Pac, the 2020 Hyundai Sonata. Hey, did you know that Chris Evans, John Krasinski, and Rachel Dratch were all born in Massachusetts? Look at these two troublemakers. Hey, Johnny, how are ya? Wicked cow, is that new? Well, you'll never forget that fact after watching this ad, which highlights the Hyundai Sonata's Smart Park feature. Or should we say Smart Park feature? These actors don't just lay on thick Boston accents, though. They sound like the cast of Goodwill Hunting if they converged with the cast of The Departed, hilariously replacing every R with an H. That Sonata ain't got no driver. That's all right, he's got Smart Pack. Hey, they get back there. He's got Smart Pack! Reminiscent of an SNL sketch, the commercial delivers no shortage of memorable one-liners, from ghost car to wicked smart. As if there wasn't already enough Boston pride to go around, it's topped off with an appearance from Red Sox David Big Poppy Ortiz. How do you like them apples? Sorry about that, you bigness. Did you guys know he lived there? Number three, Loretta, Google. You wouldn't expect a Super Bowl commercial to move you to tears, but if this ad doesn't tug at your heartstrings, you might just be a machine. Hey Google, show me photos of me and Loretta. Similar to Parisian Love, Google's first Super Bowl ad, this commercial revolves around an aging man using his Google Assistant to ensure he doesn't forget about his late wife Loretta. What ensues is an emotional roller coaster down memory lane, touching upon both the cruelty of time and the good times that make life so special. Remember, she always snorted when she laughed. While the commercial itself is beautifully crafted, it's only made more poignant when you consider that it was inspired by an actual Google employee's 85-year-old grandfather. And yes, the grandfather provided the voiceover for this ad, giving it a sincere touch. Remember, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Number 2. Tribute – Planters Leading up to the big game, Planters generated buzz by killing off the company's iconic mascot, Mr. Peanut. Blowing up with a nutmobile after falling off a cliff, the monocled nut sacrificed himself to save actors Wesley Snipes and Matt Walsh. Maybe he'll be alright. Maybe not. Although this ad campaign was temporarily put on hold following Kobe Bryant's tragic death a week before the Super Bowl, Planters did ultimately give Mr. Peanuts fans closure during the big game. At the funeral, Snipes delivers a powerful eulogy with Walsh, Mr. Clean, and Kool-Aid Man all in attendance. <laughs> yeah. What is happening? Thanks to a drop of Kool-Aid's tears, an adorable baby peanut miraculously grows out of his grave. Just kidding. The dolphin noises seem concerning at first, but Mr. Peanut quickly assures us that he has risen. Hey, love it or hate it, this ad got people talking. Do you think we'll see a Baby Nut and Baby Yoda crossover anytime soon? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hey, I'm gonna need you to... Never mind. You can't touch this. Help. You can't touch this. Seltzer, but light. Well, season one was much better than season two. Guys, guys, we're incredibly rich. Let's get both. 
Og gæt på. supposed to be a thing and you made it not a thing. What's the magic word? Sexiest man alive. Okay. Number one, Groundhog Day, Jeep. Since Groundhog Day lined up with the 2020 edition of the Super Bowl, Jeep couldn't resist paying homage to the classic 1993 comedy. In this loving recreation, Bill Murray reprises his role as Phil Connors. Just when it looked like Phil had escaped from that time loop for good, he's awakened by Sonny and Cher yet again. At first, everything seems to be on schedule as Phil encounters Ned Ryerson and the mayor. That's different. Good job. Hey! He's on the ground! Instead of an old truck, though, Phil stumbles upon a brand new Jeep Gladiator. Snatching the Jeep and the Groundhog become part of Phil's regular routine. Safety first. But he switches things up each day by driving to a different destination. It's just the right balance of something familiar and something new. I don't know where we parked. I was following you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.